everybody this is Connie and this is Project Pan Roulette check-in um, number three number three I believe it is February 1st we are going from November 1st until November 1st of the of la November 1st of last year till November 1st of this year and this is our February 1st check-in so I went kind of like Zelma did and I wrote everything down that I have and as I use it up I am highlighting um, where I used up and then I will add something new I didn't use anything up this month I did use um, quite a few things but I didn't use up anything so let's just go right down the list it is the most recent purchase would have been my modern renaissance palette and I will show you a picture from where I started on this. We are doing this shade. You can see a little bit of a dent in there. I've used it a few times this since my last check-in. See a little bit of a dent. Not a huge dent, but a little bit. Um, the next one is Favorite Foundation, and that at the time is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 201 Classic Ivory, and that is this, and I have used this a few times. Um, this was brand new. You could see my first mark there, and the kind I need to buy a marker that works on this stuff because I can't get anything to work. I started about at the top of the L'Oreal, and I'm about at the bottom of the L'Oreal this time. I've used it a couple of times since we started. Okay, full size product and I went with the Tarantino uh, Tarina Tarantino Dell Skin Cheek Palette and I think I decided I was just going to go with this blush and I have not used it much. I used it uh, a few times, like two or three times, but not much. But I will put a, insert a picture of then and now also. Next is favorite product from category of my choice. And I went with the Milani Rose Blush in Tea Rose. I love these blushes. These blushes are my life. They're, they're my favorite. Out of everything I own, I, I love the... the um, Milani blushes the most and you can tell I've used some I will insert a picture then and now very pretty blush I love this blush okay so then the next is a product that smells good and I chose chocolate bar by Too Faced and I'm just um, saying that I'm going to hit pan on something. And I don't know that I took a picture of this when I started, but I will today. And can't really tell what I've used the most of. I would think it almost be these two or this color. And I'm kind of going for this color. So we'll see. But I have used that. I used that for a whole week. Um, in my Making It Work series. So, Okay, product you bought at CVS, Rite Aid, or Walgreens. And I don't have CVS or Rite Aid, so I used Walgreens. And I chose my Wet n Wild Trio Eyeshadow Walking on Eggshells. And I don't, I think I've used this once since we started. I just don't use it very often. And I think that I chose um, this, and you can tell that I've got an indent in there, and I will take a picture then and now. The product you bought online, I chose my Becca highlighter in Opal. I actually bought this um, slightly used from a lady um, in one of the Facebook groups. And I have used this a little bit. I will take pictures, like I said. Haven't used it a lot, but I have used it a little bit. Turn page here. 
a product you received as a gift and I'm going with my um, Benefit um, their real big sexy lip in lush rose and I've used this a few times I try to use at least one of my lipsticks every single week um, but sometimes I don't but I have used you can tell this here was even with the top and it is not anymore I mean there's only this much in there that's it so it won't take me long but this was even with the top and it is now and I did take pictures of them standing up on my fingers today which I don't know how they turned out I'll have to see but <laughs> anyway I have used this uh, current favorite product and I said my Ulta eye primer because I mean I absolutely love this product and I am about down to there I have a gold mark on there So I'm almost done with this. Product you aren't sure you like yet. A Clinique Even Better Foundation. I'm, You know, I like it better after I've used it a few times. I didn't like it the first application. And I think it was um, with the brush. It just kind of moves it around. Um, it doesn't... It streaks a little bit, I think, when I use, the, use my... Um, toothbrush brush one of these and I'm kind of going away from them a little bit I mean I'm still going to use them but um, I'm using a few different avenues now but anyway this is pretty good I've used it a couple times like I said so there's my first mark and then my second mark is underneath there all right product in pencil form and I went with the Jordana lip pencil in rock and rose and I use that almost every day so I have used a lot of this I will show you here let me my cute little thingamajiggy um none of my lipsticks went down really well but you can tell from the first time I use this, there's the top mark. Here's this one. You can tell I've gone down that much. I do really like that lip pencil, and I use it almost every day. Just because I want to use it. And I did do this with the finger thing here, yeah, too. So. so that'll be gone before too awful long. Um product and I chose my Milani matte uh, naked lipstick color 61 I can't tell if you can see that or not okay and it looks like this and I have used this um, probably once every week once every two weeks since we started and so it's slowly going down uh, a metallic product, and I chose my uh, Wet n' Wild, uh, what's it called? Metallic Lipstick in Peony Express. And I started, you can see the kind of purple line there, and the line that I have right now is right exactly under it. So I've used this a little bit, but not a whole lot. And product you didn't purchase yet, but want to. And it's in a sample. And I don't know what I was thinking when I chose this because I would not choose I would not choose to purchase the full size of this. And it is the Tardist um, mascara. And I try to use this, but um, it's just so darn messy that I'd never choose to. You know, when I I had just gotten it when I I we started this. So that's why I said, you know, but I want to. I don't want to. <laughs> but anyway. And then um, the next one was the Ultra Brow Tint and Light. And I used that up. Okay. Close your eyes and pick a lip product. And I chose my Too Faced lipstick in Nude Beach. 
And I, like the others, I have started using this, but I have not used it a lot. And you can tell it was pretty close to being on top there, too, so I have used it. That's kind of my way of telling. Okay, a face primer, Magic Lumi. I don't use this real often because um, I just like my darn spackles so well, but I didn't want to have to use them up so fast either. So, um, But I will start using this more. I did use it a little bit. Like, I put my line right under the purple one, and I don't know what I did with my purple marker. It worked so well. Okay, and the last thing is a makeup remover, and I can't find them. So I'm going to say that I use them up, and I've got, um, let's see here, I've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I've got 17 items anyway, so I am going to say that that um, I'll use, them up, use that up, and I'm not going to choose another one this time. Maybe next month I will, but not this month. So I'm going to mark off the Celeve pomegranate wipes. Actually, I'm not because maybe I'll find it between now and then because <laughs> I just don't know where it's at. I can't find it anywhere. It probably slipped behind something or something. So anyway, I will talk to you next month and hope I will insert pictures um, before and after pictures and the such and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.